Yeah, now, just before you get into the top five, let's talk about why the Miami Heat lost and why the Mavericks won. I just took some notes here. And let's face the facts. The Mavericks won. The last two games, they shot over 60% at the three-point line. If you do that, you're going to win in most cases, correct? Uh, you know, I would have, I would tend to agree with you, but here's the thing. The, the, uh, he missed like 13, 14 free throws, which would have been the game. Right, so exactly. If you, can't, if you can't make at least 80%, 90% of your free throws, you're sunk. You're right. I believe they shot uh, 20 for 33 from the free throw line, which is 60%, which is just totally awful. So you, you got a point right. there. But a couple other things. Uh, two things I observe. I'm going to tell you something. I know they try to always belittle him and try to say it's the big two, a big two and a half, big three. I was impressed with Chris Bosch's game during the whole the whole playoffs. Okay, he's definitely a uh, a star. Now, well, c considering he's like a secondary player of the the, the big three. You're you're right. He's like a the the third option. Right. Uh, he he did well. Right. But, like I told you, when this all started way back when, when LeBron Bron said he was coming to Miami, I told you there would not be enough basketball and there would be no one would own the team. And sure as my name is Digital Dave, I was correct. They fell short. Even during the series, somebody stepped up, but never all three were clicking at the same time, which, A, is usually an impossibility because someone has to take second banana position. And neither one did. And then, finally, you had LeBron doing second banana, but nobody came to play in the other two. Yeah, you're right. You got a point because if you take a look at those regular season games, uh, when those guys, the big three, scored 80, 90 points, it was an instant victory. And you're right, in the series, it just didn't happen that way. They didn't have that big right. monster game. Boy, uh, I mean, I, I would believe if he could have played half the way he played when he was with Cleveland, and, and where they went to him all the time, they wouldn't have had a problem. But he got lost, and he couldn't come through. And you notice he went down, looked like he was two feet away from the basket, could slam dunk it in, and he would pass it. Right. Well, I'm going to say we know the, the Mavericks won 105 and 95. They are the, the world champs. But I'm going to say in regards to LeBron James, overrated, overrated, overrated. I mean, I'm going to give it credit to the Mavericks. They played great defense. Every time he tried to penetrate, they blocked the middle. But still, as you mentioned before, you as a superstar, as the so-called greatest player of the game of maybe of all time, you got to be able to perform better in the finals, in the fourth quarter. I mean, that's your M.O. You're supposed to be Mr. Greatness, and he just did not perform. But you also have to give Sean Marion credit for kind of shutting him down as well. Well, I'm not giving Sean Marion any credit. Oh, come on, you have to. Called it, it was just this guy that the chemistry just wasn't there for the playoffs, for the finals for sure. Now, let me explain something to you. Not to worry. He didn't dominate, but not to worry. These guys, they should take this as a learning experience. They're still young, and they still can dominate. They just got to realize playing together in the big ticket games, you've got to have a go-to guy. Now, listen, think of Jordan. Jordan dominated, but Jordan got beat up a couple times before he started winning championships. I don't place LeBron James or Wade anywhere near a Jordan, but they can, I believe, take this loss and this tragedy, I guess you want to say, after bragging, and use it 
for a positive uh, mentality next season. If there is a next season. Right, but you also got to look at the game, too. This is game six, and Chris Bosch is only getting nine shots. He, he shot seven for nine. I mean, I think he needs to uh, be more assertive and say, hey, you know, if these guys aren't shooting, i got to just start throwing this ball up and take over the game. Well, and he's capable of doing it. He's done it a lot with uh, Toronto. They have to pass to him. That's true. They have to pass to him. You're correct. So, I mean, basically, LeBron James was a, a point forward, and he just didn't get done. I mean, I, I'm pretty – I didn't like either team, basically. But it was good to see Terry, uh, what's the little guy's name, Perea. Oh, I tell you, he and, played uh, uh, the last two yeah. games. What a what a, uh, a good switch, switching up the uh, rotation by uh, Rick Carlisle. I'm not the biggest fan of his. Yeah, absolutely. But he made a great they switch bringing handle. that guy in. They couldn't handle Perea. They and, could not, certainly not. And, and then Jason Kidd hitting clutch. Three pointers. I, I I tell you something. Like I said, I care for either team, but I'm kind of glad those guys got a championship, and now they can go off the face of the earth. Because let's face it, they're not a high octane team. They're not going anywhere next year. There'll be no repeat with this team. One and out. Maybe That's not, but they're still a pretty good, solid team. Uh, Dirk is a big superstar, but they have a, a lot of uh, solid players on that team. Well, I, I agree with you, but they're not going anywhere. It, it's one and done. But at least they can say they won. But So, you know, it's immaterial if they ever win again, which they probably won't. But right. The, the bottom line is they did get that one ring, which uh, Bron Bron can't say and quite a few other pros uh can't say. Yeah, but before, once again, before we get on another topic, I have to say, LeBron James, overrated, overrated, overrated. I, I'm not going to say overrated. I'm going to say uh, he was out of his uh, element. He's a superstar, but he's not all world. And I'm not the biggest Michael Jordan fan because I think Michael Jordan would have never, never won anything without Scottie Pippen. I know, Scottie Pippen. Right, exactly. But. Uh, a violin on that. But. Anyway, uh, the, the bottom line is I believe that LeBron needs to be the go-to guy. And when he's not, and he's making these other people trying to make them better, it, it isn't working. Right. 